over there in, in I believe it's uh, Hebrews 12 and 1, and it says, laying aside the weight and the sin that so easily besets us. So not only is sin the problem, but the weight is a problem. This pressure is a problem. See? But verse 2 tells us the answer. It says, looking unto Jesus. See, everything we need is in Christ. Somebody help me out of in here. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So you can, you can just feel that the world is laboring under the strain of, of the curse. What's the curse? That's after Adam fell and, and God curses man and curses woman. He tells man, he said, from, from the sweat of your brow, the earth go produce from, for you. So from this day forward, everything you do, you're going to have to toil for it. you going to have to struggle for it. you got to put overtime in for it. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? But not only that, you'll notice that danger has increased in these last days. See? Back, back, back when I grew up, we didn't have Al-Qaeda or ISIS. Somebody help me out of here. We, we, could, we, could, we could go, I grew up on 26th and Concordia. We, we would walk to 27th Street to McDonald's. We were probably about five or six years old when we... Walking from 26 to 27, nowadays, you, you ain't letting your kid go to the corner. Somebody help me out over here. Why? Because danger has increased. Right? Times have changed. Things that you didn't need to watch out for before, you got to watch out for now. Why? It's a product of the curse. See? Jesus' prayer was, he said, I'm not, I'm not praying that you take them out the world. You go be in the world, Jesus' prayer is that you protect them from the evil one. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? You can't take your kids out of school, but you pray that while they're in school, they protect it. Somebody help me out of here. That's our prayer. Hallelujah. Can't take them out. Y'all tried homeschool. How'd that go? They ain't go too good, did it? You was in school too, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's all a product of the curse. Look at the Romans 8 and 9, 8 and 19, excuse me. It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Let me give you another translation. For all the creation is waiting eagerly for the future day when God will reveal who his children really are. 